five years, I'm Cambo Ford from True Crime Island. And I'm George. And we're bringing you the craft beer show from Mama's Bar and Restaurant in Victoria Street, Darlinghurst. Now, I'm going to bring you a review from the perspective of someone who doesn't drink craft beer, just drinks standard type beer. And I'm going to give you a perspective from someone who actually loves craft beer. So, George, we've got three beers today you picked out. What we are... have a Hazy from Bracket. Um, Hop Nation, we've got a Pale Ale and we've got a double IPA from Dad and Dave's. Well, that sounds pretty good. I can't wait good. to get into it. Getting so what excited. are we going to do first? All right, we're going to start with the Hazy IPA from uh, Bracket. It's the lighter style beer. It's probably the sort of start we want to get with that citrus flavor and all the rest. So what about the can design on yeah, this one? Yeah, the can's one? pretty looks good. looks all right, doesn't it? Bracket usually uh, follow this kind of can design. This is their thing and it's, it's quite good. It's quite funky. Uh, these guys are quite new, by the way, guys, uh, over in Alexandria, Sydney. Uh, one of my favourite new craft beer breweries. That sounds good. What sort of alcohol content have you got uh, on this, George? 6.7%. Yeah? For a 440ml can. And how much is that It's about can $15 cost? it'll retail well, for. 15 bucks it a is can, pretty mate. Big. It is Better be big. bloody good. It does get cheaper when you buy more, though, Cam. Yeah, so I'm, if you buy I'm a one-off sure of craft beer, it does get a bit expensive. All right. Now, track it open. open. Let's do yeah, that. let's do it. First let's one it. for the day. New let's glasses this week. I like it. 15 bucks can. 15 bucks a can. Yeah. Look at that. As you saw head? last week, we uh, reused the glasses. We got new ones this time. We do have new glasses. S- beer snifters. And I haven't done the head right on mine, but yeah. anyway. Well, we always know about you and him. <laughs> hey, that smells pretty good. It is. And it looks a little bit hazy. Which all, is right, all right, so we've got Galaxy, Idaho 7 and Sabro Hops. So yeah. from, the, from the actual makers themselves, it's a hazy IPA version 3. Uh, was true. treated with a solid whirlpool addition of Idaho 7, then dry hopped with a heap of Galaxy plus a small additions of Citra and Sabro to fill the tropical character. <laughs> there you go, Joe. taste all of those things, Cam? I'm going to try. I quite like it. I think it's... I can um, taste citrus in it. You can. Sure. You can. You yeah. can. Um, Not yeah. that I want that too much in my beer. No, it's very nice. I think it's got a it's got a nice fruit. It's not overly fruity at all. Now the the descriptions or the reviews I've read about this beer are actually people talking about the fruitiness of it. I'm actually not getting a lot of fruit. I'm getting a nice amount of fruit to hops, which is what I look for in a hazy. Yeah, look, this is one that's getting towards that tang thing that I talk about in craft beer. The tang, yeah, that, and that, it's that thing wanky really... flavour that you talk yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> the hits the flavour that puts me off a bit. Yeah, um, no, I quite like it actually. I think, that, no, I think I it's mean, got it's a really nice... nice beer. Mm. I don't know how many I drink in a row. Mm. Version 3 from Bracket. Version 3. Version All right, three. George, so yeah. what are you going to rate that one? Mm. I'd probably give it a Three and a half to four. I'm still deciding. Give me another 30 seconds. Mm, I'm going to give it... I think I'm going to give it three stars. Three stars, three. Cam? Yeah, it's all right. It's not as good as the ones we had last week, though. I'm going to give it a three and a half. I think it's pretty good. Look, there's great things coming out of Bracket. I really like them as a brewery. Um, I'm very happy. New glasses. Look at that. <laughs> ah, look We've got new glasses for the next beer. Excellent. How all right, and what is that? is that next beer, George? The next beer is from Hop Nation. It's a uh, pale ale. Um, we got it at five dollars a can at four point six percent. Jeez, that's that's a mild one. Then. It's a mild one. It's yeah. you know, how I, much I, was it again? Five dollars. Five bucks per can. It's cheaper that's than you buy by the cheap. It is. It's yeah. coming close to what a normal uh, beer would cost. And, and this it's is good at standard type. So uh, much Hop better. Nation. Design on the front. It does. Pretty it's, good. Uh, you can take it out to work party or wherever. It does. This is a Hop Nation design. It's good. nice. Yeah, yeah. Now let's uh, crack it open and try no it. No worries. So what do Hop Nation say? Pouring a golden straw colour with a lacing head. Floral and citrus hop aromas make for an inviting and crisp taste on the infamous style. Infamous style. Infamous there you style. Go. Well, Hop Nation has do have their thing. Pours mine first. It's good to see Got a lighter colour to it. As you can see, it. we've got a new background today. We're at the we bar. We do. It's much of better. Mama's Bar and Restaurant. Mama's Bar. We've got to give Mama's a plug as well. Definitely. Okay. This one smells totally different. Now, I must say, Cam, 4.6%. That's. Um, it's against my religion to go on, but, uh, below, five, um, below 5% for a beer, but I make exceptions if well, it's just under 5%. I must admit, this is pretty mild. It is. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's almost watery mild, isn't it? 
Like that's why it's four point six because well, it was five or six or seven percent. Well, they added water. I thought I'd introduce this beer because it's it's it is more a common, easy tasting beer that a lot of people would taste. For me. It doesn't have a lot of complexity. It doesn't have a lot of the different hop flavors and stuff that you get out of a out of a lot of the craft beers. But it's a nice, easy drinking beer that I would recommend for a lot of people. I'd take yeah, this to the work party, especially at five yeah. bucks a can. Five bucks a can. Well, for it gets sure. cheaper. When Look, you buy I'd be more. taking two bucks a can, maybe. But well, it does get cheaper if you get a case. Uh, That's quite easy drinking. It's not yeah, bad. It's, all right. it's not bad. I think we're doing all right. Not bad at all. What are you going to rate that at, Georgie? I'll give it a three star. I can't go above three. It's just not, there's not enough happening in that for me. But but it's a nice, easy drinking beer. Um, it's it's. I think most people will be happy with it. If you're after a pale ale, it's easy drinking. You're going to bring it to the party. Uh, bring it to your work staff party, whatever. This is something that will please most people. Um, there's not a lot happening in it though. But again, it's another pretty good beer that Hop Nation produced. I think I'm giving this a three. I don't think it's as flavoursome to get a four. But as an easy drinking beer, the one you have the next day after you had a hard night, wake up in the morning, you could grab one of them, knock it straight back. Fantastic beer. As all these beers are good quality, it doesn't yeah. matter. Don't worry about what I say. Uh, these are all very Look, good. Hop, Hop Nation have a huge range and they're, they're really good with a lot of their beers. This is one of their probably more basic entry level ones. Okay, George, so what do we got coming up? Number right. three. I've been waiting for this one. You have, yeah. Look at the can design on that. And that's Isn't why nice? the can design looks really good. Not only that, yeah, look, I We're going to get smashed with this or? Very, I think so. Very What's excited about this one. alcohol content? 8%. 8%. It's the strongest one we've had this well, week. Well, it's a double IPA. That's why it's at 8%. Yeah. So. Uh, double IPAs are going to be stronger. Um, so, yeah, we've got a single hop malt and a double hop IPA. So That sounds pretty good. I'm not going to ask say, you what that means. Well, this but, this uh, IPA is absolutely smashing. The single malt, single hop, double IPA showcases one of our favourite hops, Nelson Savion, famous, famously juicy and tropical with smashing notes of lychee mango and Savion Blanc grapes. Savion Blanc. Savion Blanc. Savion Blanc. Great. I've been looking oh for this. Now, Dad and Dave's have been around for a while. Um, right. I've only heard of them recently because yeah. um, they're over on the north side and we don't go to the north side very much. But I've got to say, Brookvale, this is That's where nice. they're from. And Manly. No one likes Manly. No one likes Manly. But you know what? Rugby league. Yeah. You know what? Thank you. This is pretty good. I've it's got a good head. I've heard Frothy. a lot of good stuff about Dad and Dave. Sorry, I poured you probably too much there, Cam, but that's, oh, okay. that's okay. Smash. It smells good. Well, let's try it. Single malt, double hopped. That tastes pretty good. That does taste pretty good. Wow. Yeah, it hasn't got that horrible tangy type and you flavor at all. And you wouldn't think it's eight percent, would you? You wouldn't think it's an eight percent beer. You get Probably really not. smashed after, on this, boys and girls. Maybe after a couple, I might know it's yeah. 8%. I, this is what I, I tell you. What? But, uh, yeah, a five hundred mil can. Uh, this comes in at fourteen dollars. And that's, 14 bucks a can. That's a single can price again. Jesus it does get Christ. cheaper when you buy more. How many more you got? Well, it's buy. double. It's double the strength almost, Ten Cam, and it's double the taste. Well, that's true. It seems to be almost a dollar per percent. Some of these beers, doesn't it? It's not just about the percentage of the alcohol. It's about the taste. Now I'm and yeah. The can. I am can tasting a nice. Hand. That's all right. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting a tiny bit of that Savion Blanc there at the end. It's got a little bit of t- um, mango lychee, but it's very light. It's not overly fruity at all. It's got a nice balance of hops. It's actually a very nice beer. Quite a unique flavour as well. I can't get any of the flavours that they're talking about. But then again, I'm pretty... I not, get them all. I'm not sophisticated at all. I drink beer, Chan. <laughs> but uh, it's a good tasting beer. Very easy to drink too. That's Dad and Dave. Smash. Yeah. Nelson Savion. Definitely. I'm tasting it now. Yeah. All right, Taste the Savion Blanc hops. What's your rating on this? I'll oh, give that a four. Have to give it a four. I'm very close to a four and a half with that. Yeah. Have to give it a four. I'm giving that a four as well. So, that's three beers again this week, George. It is. I am going to rate these, and you've got to rate them as if what you're going to take to the office party or your friend's birthday party or whatever sort of thing. You want to impress a little bit. I am taking Dad and Dave's number one. I'm taking Dad and Dave's And I'd say these again are a photo finish for me. They're they're both pretty good, but Dad and Dave's. Dad and Dave's. Bracket is probably my second choice. And then the Hop Nation is for people like you, Cam, that don't want to want too much in their beer. (laughs) Uh, I'm pretty happy with my Chang, mate. Well, I reckon I could still be on the Hop Nation. It's a few dollars more by the can. 
Well, that's all right. Okay, so that's been another episode, episode two, and we will get better, of the Craft Beer Show coming from Mama's Bar and Restaurant in Darlinghurst, in Victoria Road, Darlinghurst. So, George... What do you think all up for, for today? It's pretty good, I eh? think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think we've done pretty well. And there's plenty more. Look, Bracket are really one of my favourite breweries at the moment. I'm going to bring you a lot more from Bracket. And there's a lot of stuff from Dad and Dave's at the moment. We're yeah. going to do a little bit more of that too. I think so. we need to do another Dad and Dave's. We do need to hot do another Dad and Hot Nation looks Dave's. like they're well, pretty good. They're quite think, established. There's a lot of Hot yeah, Nation out there. Yeah, I think we're going to try yeah. a few Hot Nations. Don't forget, go to your local bottle Go and check out these. They're getting more and more in your standard, what is it? Dan Murphy's or wherever type uh, bottle you'll find your craft beer. So that's been George and Cam from the Craft Beer Show this week. Have a good day. Over and out.